If we could give them all a crown, we would. But not every bird has what it takes to soar to the top. With the race to find the 2024 Bird of the Year, New Zealanders are being encouraged to vote for their favourites before September 15. I think people love something to be positive about uh, at a time when stuff feels like a bit of a grind. Forest and Bird, which runs the competition, is hoping for a boost in votes after an aggressive international campaign by US talk show host John Oliver for the Pūtiki Tiki, which took out last year's Bird of the Century title. They are weird puking birds with colourful mullets. What's not to love here? This is what democracy is all all about America interfering in foreign elections. Thanks to Oliver's campaign, the Poo Tiki Tiki recorded a massive 277,000 votes. The next best, the North Island Brown Kiwi, recorded just under 10,000. Oliver's campaign also highlighted the plight of New Zealand's birds. I think most New Zealanders would be shocked to hear that 80% of all of our native birds are threatened or at risk uh, of becoming extinct. If you're unsure where to put your vote this year, consider the underbirds, the birds which received the least votes in 2023. They include the elusive wetland birds, the spotless crake and banded rail. A fun fact about the spotless crake, if you can find one, very difficult to find, uh, is that the chicks can start um, hunting invertebrates from as little as young as three days old. Banded rails are also very hard to find, mostly because their habitats are very hard to find. 90% of our wetlands have been destroyed in the last just over 100 years. Or the fairy prion. A small seabird with a great party trick, producing a special stomach oil to spray at its predators. I encourage everyone to go on the website birdoftheyear.org.nz and learn all about these birds because some of our lesser known birds have some amazing quirky habits um, and very much need our help.